Hey everybody, it's Bruce again. This week I wanted to make an iPad stand, kind of like what you can put in the bed so you can watch videos or whatever while you're laying down. So the first thing I did was try to model it up in FreeCAD just as a concept. Next I cut the backboard 240 millimeters wide. Next I needed to angle the back legs, so I measured a 15 degree angle and just cut it with the jigsaw. But the thing I did a little bit special here is I clamped the two pieces of wood together so that their angle is the same. And it actually worked out, frankly, better than I expected. The only thing is it left a small piece at the end. But I ended up working that into the design. Then because it worked so well clamping both together and cutting them the first time, I went ahead and did it for this piece too. Then I just glued the back legs on and drilled some pilot holes with a 2.5 millimeter bit. And I didn't have a countersink tool. So I just used this uh, Phillips head drill bit. It actually worked surprisingly well. Then when I thought it was all finished, it turned out my design wasn't good. As you can see right here in the video, every time you shake the bed or move the bed, the, the whole thing tips forward. There's basically too much weight in the front. So I decided to go ahead and add these extra, some extra ballast to the back. With this little extra weight, it seems to make the whole system stable enough that it can't tip forward. Still seems like it could use a bit more weight to me, but uh, we'll go ahead and try it like this and see how it works. And if, if it needs more, more weight later on or some modifications, I can do that later.